Today I want to talk about movement in Scratch um, and how we can control our character's movement in a number of different ways. Uh, I'm going to start off talking about actually what Scratch's movement is based upon, which is your place on the stage. So the stage is like the screen, the bit you can see, uh, and how we move around it. So it's basically like a, a four-quadrant graph. You've got your x-axis, that's the one that goes across the screen, and you've got your y-axis, the one that goes from top to bottom. And you've got a negative side of the line and a positive side of the line. So on the x variable, on our x-axis, we've got uh, minus 240x being right down this end. And we travel along the x-axis, we get to zero on the x-axis. That's the dead middle of the screen. And then we travel into the positive numbers all the way up to positive 200 and 40. It's the same for the y-axis. You go up to a positive 180. In the middle you've got zero and then downwards we've got our negative numbers and they all go down to minus 180. You can actually see where my mouse is on the stage by looking at these numbers here. So you can see as I move my mouse those numbers actually change. Right, so why am I telling you all this? Because it's the first way that we're going to look at moving our character. So I've got Scratch the Cat, and at the moment he hasn't got any scripts at all. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to um, map some controls on my keyboard to movements on the stage. So first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go to uh, Events, and I'm going to get a When Space Key is Pressed block. And I'm going to change that actually to the Up Arrow, because I want when the Up Arrow is pressed, I want something to happen. So then I'm going to go to Motion, and we know that the y-axis is the one that controls up or down. So I'm going to change the y-axis by 10. So that's a positive number. So the positive numbers, remember, are the ones that go up. So hopefully now when I press the up arrow, we can see that Scratch is moving up 10 each time. Now if I press the other buttons, like I am now, nothing is happening. It's only the up button that works because it's only the up button that we've programmed. So let's go and grab another one. And um, we're going to change this one to down. Now we're on the same axis. We're still going up or down. But this time, instead of changing by a positive number, we are going to change by a negative number. So I'm going to put in minus 10 into that box there. And now I can press down. And as I press down, you can see he jumps down by 10 each time. And my up still goes up. Left and right, we haven't done yet. So let's do those. So back to events and when, and this time I'm going to go for a right arrow, and the difference is going to be we're changing axis now. We're no longer going up and down. We're no longer on Y. We are on the X axis. We are going from left to right. So we're on this axis here. So instead of changing the Y axis, I must change the X. So change X of my sprite by 10. So now when I press the right arrow, he goes right. And at the moment, left doesn't work. Now, let me show you a quick shortcut here. What I can do is I can right-click and duplicate to get an exact copy of what I've already got. So I've got an exact copy of that one, and I'm just going to change the right to say left arrow. And I'm no longer moving right. I want to move the other way. I want to move the negative numbers. So I say minus 10. And now... I move left when I press left on the keyboard, and all of my buttons work. So this is one way in which you can get movement on Scratch. To find out some other ways that you can program your sprites to move in Scratch, check out some of my other videos.